Mark Regev in 2014. Regev is a Netanyahu who, advisor who yeah, used yeah, to yeah. be a mm. ambassador, ambassador, an Israeli yeah. ambassador in the UK, and then a spokesperson at another point as well. So he and he's Australian. He uh, uh, after in 2014 there was an airstrike that attacked a UN school, killing children, and the response was, "Oh, we think that Hamas was using human shields and kill." Like, that they said we're going to do an internal investigation that never amounted to anything. There's never been these internal investigations um, that ever amount to anything to to for for us to see. So the same thing with this Jebeli refugee camp. Yes, you've claimed that there is a uh, a Hamas fighter there. Prove it then. And no, and even if you can prove it, that's not okay. You it's don't not, get to it, kill fifty civilians because there's it, one person there. Yeah, exactly. So this is a a, a clip of Mark Regev, who uh, was on. Jake Tapper show and Jake Tapper is asking him about family members of a CNN colleague who were killed in Gaza. And as people probably know, Jake Tapper is not a critic of Israel. Um, and here is this exchange. IDF really has done everything that is humanly possible to try to safeguard innocent civilians. It's very hard to believe that, especially on a day when one of our producers lost nine members of his family, nine members of his family who were not members of Hamas, not members of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, not members of any group, just nine people just trying to live their lives. First of all, I, I extend my sorrow to him and my sympathies. But if I saw your report correctly, and, and please correct me if I say something wrong, that happened in northern Gaza? Uh, in Gaza City, where a month ago we already asked all the civilians to leave, and most of them did. If there was like 1,200,000 people there, there was only a, a couple of tens of thousands left. And one has to ask, yes, they had an ample opportunity to leave. I'm, I'm, I don't know what happened. I don't have the specific circumstances. I know there's deadly combat going on now in the north, still between these IDF and, 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 and Hamas terrorists, yes? And we don't want to see anyone caught up in the crossfire, but why didn't they heed the advice and oh, you leave can't blame, the area? You, they you had, can't blame them. There's now I fighting, don't blame them. But you can't. There's fighting in the south now. Where, where are, I mean, I've been asking this since October 7th. Where are these people supposed to go? It's ridiculous like, to think like you're, you're blaming the victim. And victim yeah. blaming is just, it's just such a horrible thing to think about. Imagine Hamas is like, we've been telling you for years that that's our, Tel Aviv is our territory. Yafa is ours. We've told you to leave. You didn't leave. It's your it's your fault yeah. that we came and attacked you. It's this ludicrous like concept. And actually, like this is part of what Israel's game is to 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 try to act as if this, these are pure enemies. Um, and it's what allows them to act with impunity. So they, on one end, it's like eating their cake and like having their cake and eating it at the same time. So on one end, they say that Palestine is not someone that they need to look after. So therefore, they don't need to provide water, they don't need to provide electricity, et cetera, et cetera, because they're their own independent people. And then at the same time, they don't allow them to be a state. So then when they say uh, Palestine tries to take them to the ICC, the International Criminal Court, they're like, oh, but you're not a state. So it's like trying to have their cake and eat it at the same time. And that's what puts this predicament in for, for, for Palestinians, to, to, to turn around and say they didn't leave. Or Mark Regev in another interview with, with Mehdi Hassan, after that interview, which he, he lost his job, he claimed that those, like, did those babies even die? And there's this whole thing about Pallywood that's been yeah. going around. Um, which, is which is what Palestinian, Palestine, Palestinian, Hollywood. Palestinian Hollywood, yeah, that, 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 that the Israelis have been trying to pull out. I don't know if you saw Ophir Gendelman, put, who's mm -hmm. one of the Israeli ministers, put a tweet out saying, look at this as evidence of Palestinian Hollywood. And it's actually behind, uh, behind the scenes of a, an award-winning Lebanese short film. Ah, oh, right, right. Pretending that that was, as, <laughs> pretending that that was being presented as, as uh, real footage. Yeah, yeah as real right. footage, as if somebody was there and they're putting makeup on babies dying and right. things like that. Right. But actually, like, why should we take any of what Israel says to be fact? Right. Like, they've lied so many times, they've manipulated yep. the media so many times, there's that that nurse that you know claimed to be a Palestinian nurse, yeah, for example, really who's an Israeli actress. An actress yeah. That there was there's the whole calendar thing where you know the Israeli IDF spokesman went into Shifa Hospital and was like, look, this is evidence of Hamas, and actually he's just pointing towards the calendar. And this goes back years. Right. There's Shireen Abu Akla when she was murdered by the IDF, and they said that she was killed by uh, Palestinian yeah. militants. And they provided and later, fake video. They provided video. They, Exactly. And, they, and then yeah. eventually they admitted it was them. There's James Miller, 2003.
there's the I don't know if you remember back in 2006 there was the um the Ghana ambulance hoax where they claimed there was an ambulance that the, the that in Lebanon where the Israeli airstrikes struck I think it was two ambulances which is a clear war crime and then they turned around and said oh it's a hoax so those, those video footage are all fake and whatever and then years later they turned around and said actually oh no no that is something that we did Jerusalem Post uh published a story about dead babies being uh dolls and then yes. they had to retract that but of course when they tweeted out that it was wrong they didn't mention which story it was yes and the damage yeah, yeah. of course had already been done oh, to yeah. clarify this not just the uh, this was the um the deputy mayor of jerusalem said it as well wow okay so not just the jerusalem post